Hi, my name is Brian Hefflinger, and I'm a neurosurgeon. I live in Toledo, Ohio, and I've been a full-time neurosurgeon for 23 years now. You know, people often wonder what blood looks like on a CAT scan of the brain, and so I just thought I'd show you a CAT scan of the brain um, that has a blood clot in it. So if you look at this CAT scan, we're looking from a top-down view, so we're looking straight down the center um, of the head, and this is a slice. So the white that you see in the brain, that's the blood. And the gray on the CAT scan, that's actually the brain tissue surrounding the blood clot. And then there's those dark spaces. Those are the fluid cavities of the brain. And so you can see that that blood clot is pushing on the fluid cavities a little bit. Now, the, the blood clot itself, if you look at it, the way you read a CAT scan, the right side of the picture is at actually the left side of the brain. So the blood clot's on the left. Now I think a lot of people think when you have blood in the brain that you automatically need to have brain surgery and that's not always true. Um, this blood clot itself is moderately sized and it's only putting mild pressure on the brain. So really if the patient's doing fairly well from a clinical perspective, meaning if, if the patient's talking, moving everything and I don't see any deficits, that's probably something that we would just observe and not do surgery on. And I would say most of these people do very well and, and with time the brain will actually um, absorb that blood and if you did a CAT scan potentially a month or two down the road you won't even see the blood anymore. So I just wanted to show you an example of a blood clot in the brain on a CAT scan.